everyone, it's Dane here and I wanted to give you some simple but effective things that you could do to help strengthen and optimize your immune system function. So I am Dana Lavoie. I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist, a tonic herbalist in fact. I usually help women to balance their hormones naturally to feel great during and after menopause using natural remedies like customized Chinese herbs and diet and lifestyle. But this week I wanted to talk a little bit about the immune system. So as a tonic herbalist, this is a passion of mine. Uh, tonic herbalism is about preventative wellness, things that you can do, uh, adaptogenic herbs and lifestyle and all this to achieve radiant health. Radiant health is also called health beyond danger, uh, which I know it sounds so good. And so I also want to just take a slight aside here and I want to acknowledge that as humans, you know, let's just be humble and realistic about this. One of the best motivators we have, um, and I think if we're, if we acknowledge this, we can use it to our advantage. One of the best motivators that we have to do things to get healthy is fear. So right now, if you're feeling just a little bit fearful um, about getting sick, remember a couple of months from now when this has all passed and I'm coming back and talking to you about thinking about getting on a radiant health program, that would include supporting your Jing, your Qi, your Shen, and things for protection to keep you protected against whatever comes down the pike next because the world is just a little bit of a crazy place. Life is a series of stresses. Whether the stress is emotional, whether it's physical, whether it's the loss of a loved one, whether it's running a marathon, whether it's very hot temperatures, whether it's very cold temperatures, or whether it's a virus or a bacteria. These are all stresses that come at us. And if our system can respond to all these different kinds of stress appropriately and efficiently, right? It's not over responding, but it's not under responding. Responding really well to stress, to every form of stress, is actually the secret to a happy, long, and healthy life. And that's what Radiant Health and Tonic Herbalism is all about. So we will talk about more about that in a few months, but in the meantime, um, taking care of your immune system is also one of the things that is a really big part of that. And so I want to give you some really wonderful, simple strategies that you can use right now to help care for your immune system. So the first one, and I don't hear people talk about this enough, is you wanna stop doing things that could really, in a significant way, on the spot, be decreasing your immune system function, okay? So this is, this is simple and it's really effective and it's safe for everybody. The first one is stress. It's hard not to be stressed out, but stress weakens your immune system function. So do something to counteract it, right? 10 minutes twice a day, do some type of focused stress management practice. You can just go on YouTube and find like a tapping, you know, uh, routine to listen to and follow along with or a guided meditation or a yoga nidra meditation or a deep breathing exercise. 10 minutes twice a day to decrease stress, to counteract the effect that stress might be having on your immune system. Really, really good to do. Another one, another thing that can absolutely decrease your immune system function is refined sugar. This is a great time to stay away from sugar. Also, excess alcohol is not great for your immune system. Um, and also, a healthy digestive system is really important for your immune system. So if there are certain foods you know you are sensitive or allergic to, like if you just don't digest dairy well, this is a good time to stay away from those foods, keep your, immune, your digestive system functioning optimally. So those are simple things that everyone can do. I don't think we talk enough sometimes about the things we can do to stop decreasing our immune function. So that's a place to start. The next step is to do things to support your immune system function. Now these of course are gonna be things, this first level are things that tend to be very safe, but check with your doctor, check with your pharmacist, you know, if you're on any medication, if you have any health conditions, make sure that these aren't going to interfere with anything. But the first one would be herbs. So my favorite herbs to support the immune system, there are lots, but my favorites are going to be 
mushrooms that are adaptogenic support for the immune system with all those amazing ingredients in them. Um, so some of my favorites are reishi mushroom, chaga mushroom, agaricus mushroom, and cordyceps mushroom. But there are others for sure. And I like to combine the mushrooms with some astragalus, astragalus root. Um, there are certainly other things you can add in there to make a really great combination, but that's going to be the core of my favorite immune system blends for preventative wellness for the immune system. So these aren't antivirals, these are immune system food. <laughs> and then I like to combine those herbs with some basic supplements. The most important ones I like to put in are probiotics. So we talked already about why a healthy digestive system is a really important part of your immune system. So taking probiotics is a great way to help support your digestive system. It's really been shown, it's recommended by so many professionals, that probiotics are great for your immune system and they tend to be so wonderful and safe, so probiotics. Vitamin C, an oldie but a goodie. And in terms of protection against virus, like what we might be dealing with right now, it seems to work best if you take it before you are exposed. So you can look at something like a couple of thousand milligrams a couple of times a day, but it's something you wanna do you know, right, right first off preventatively because it works better if you've been taking it before you're exposed. And I will say one quick note about vitamin C. Obviously, we've been using it for years, it's pretty safe, but if you take uh, enough of it, and the amount varies from person to person, you can potentially reach what's called bowel tolerance. It just means it'll give you loose stools. So if you get that, you just decrease your dose. Um, okay, so vitamin C is wonderful. So probiotics, vitamin C, vitamin D. Vitamin D is very, very important for immune system function. And if you live anywhere like where I do, far enough north of the equator, all winter we've not been getting enough of it. So I take vitamin D year round actually and I get my levels tested a couple of times a year. I tend to run low. Um, so I take 5,000 every day. A lot of doctors think that, that that's a safe dose for most people to take even without getting tested. I sometimes take more in the winter. Um, but vitamin D, if you, uh, you can take some of it just preventatively, especially if you live far away from the equator or it's been winter, um, but you might even want to get checked. Make sure you're taking enough of it. It is a key immune system vitamin. So those are some of my favorite preventative things you can do for your immune system. Another one that I use every day is essential oils. So most essential oils have antiviral and antibacterial qualities and they tend to be very good for decreasing stress levels. So they can help in all these different ways. The key is to get the highest quality essential oils that you can because they are the ones with the medicinal value for everything I just listed above for the stress, for the um, antiviral support, for the antibacterial support. Personally, I really, really like the ones from doTERRA, from Young Living, and from Revive, EssentialOils.com. There are other good ones out there, but get the best ones you can and look for a company that has their some of their oils certified um, as a supplement. So it has a special label on it and it's recommended for internal use. Like you can make a tea out of it. That usually means that it's good quality. And so uh, doTERRA has a blend called On Guard, which I just love. Young Living has a blend called Thieves. Revive has a blend called Protect, and they have one called Immunity Boost. They're all ones that I love. Like I said, use high quality oils, and here's how you can use them. You can diffuse them, put them in a diffuser at work, at home, in your bedroom. You can put a couple of drops on your scarf or even um, on your bra strap before you go out, or like, you know, and then they will just sort of diffuse naturally around your head while you're out in a crowd. I love to do that. It creates like this protective shield. I always do it when I have to go on an airplane. Rub a drop onto your hands, palms of your hands, soles of your feet, morning and night. That's a great thing to do. You can put a drop on your hands, rub them together, take a big sniff anytime during the day. You can sniff right out of the bottle of essential oils. 
and you can also make a tea out of them. You can put like a couple of drops in a little bit of cream or milk and then add hot water and a little bit of honey or stevia if you want to make a tea. Um, and this, you don't put too much in there. You don't need it, but it's wonderful, wonderful support. It tastes delicious. And again, make sure the oils you're using are certified for internal use. Um, and that I find is a wonderful, wonderful boost. You can also gargle with that if you're feeling a little bit of a scratchy throat. And of course, Chinese herbs are my go-to. So I take all the herbs preventatively to support my whole system, including my immune system. But if I were to feel like I was fighting something off, I would switch to different herbal formulas. And if it developed into a cold, I would switch to different formulas. If it settled into my sinuses, I would switch to different formulas. If it was thinking about switch settling into my lungs, I would switch to different formulas. If it was in my lungs and I had a lot of phlegm, I would switch to a different formula. If it was in my lungs and I was getting a dry cough, I would switch to a different formula. So those once you are using medicinal herbs, not tonic herbs, but medicinal herbs, it's best to work with an herbalist and get ones that are customized for whatever stage you're at. Um, but they're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So be sure, and if you know an herbalist, connect with them, get hooked up, and uh, have them help guide you through that because they're wonderful. They're my total go-to. I find that they um, are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So um, anyway, that is what I wanted to share with you today, some quick tips for your immune system. So to recap, first, just stop doing the things that are decreasing your immune system function, right? So who's with me on this? 10 minutes of stress management twice a day, less or no refined sugar, limit alcohol, right? And uh, so these are all things you can do to stop decreasing your immune system function. Plus you want your gut to be healthy. So if there's foods that don't agree with you, this is a good time to avoid them. Then you can add in my favorite preventative wellness um, herbs for the immune system. It's like food for your immune system. So that would be mushrooms and astragalus. And then you can add in some supplements, probiotics, vitamin C, vitamin D, and some essential oils. Now, obviously there are other ones you can use, but these are sort of like my most basic go-to base protocol that can then be customized, of course, but this is a great place to start. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this is helpful for you. Remember to take deep breaths. My friend's yoga teacher said to her, you know what the best thing for your immune system is? Laughter, I love that. Laughter, relaxation, de-stressing having a little faith. These things are all so good for our health and well-being. Um, our immune systems were absolutely designed to handle these kinds of challenges. So have some faith in it, give it some support, support each other and hang in there and let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I am Dana Lavoie, an acupuncturist and herbalist specializing in tonic herbs. I help women feel great during and after menopause using customized Chinese herbs supported by the best diet and lifestyle for their hormones. But I'm also really passionate about tonic herbalism and radiant health and the immune system. And I love having an excuse to talk to you about that. So I hope this is helpful. Please share it with a friend, share it with your friends and family, spread the word that our immune systems were designed to handle this. Um, and if we give them just a little help, they're going to work even better. All right, you guys, take care and I will see you soon.